you only need to visit your local garden centre or hardware store to realise there's a huge range of fertilisers available. And not only are there many different brands, there are many different formulations specific to different plant types for a very good reason. Plants like us have their preferences as to what makes them grow the best. Take citrus and fruit trees for example. They require a specific balance of the macro elements, potassium for flowering and strengthening, phosphorus for root development and nitrogen for growth. Plus smaller but targeted amounts of trace elements such as manganese, zinc and copper. If we fed this citrus tree with say a high nitrogen lawn fertiliser we'd be in for quite a shock. Rather than the relatively compact shape and glossy deep green leaves and abundance of fruit, we'd be looking at a tree with long lanky growth, lighter green leaves and <laughs> not too many of these. All by simply not giving it the right balance of fertiliser. It all starts from the ground, so make sure you have plenty of well-aged organic matter turned in. And when using a fertiliser, where possible, use a dedicated plant food specific to your plant's needs. As I said, there are plenty of dedicated fertilisers to choose from. Soluble powders, organic pellets, and even ones with microbes in them. The slow release pearls in this citrus and fruit fertiliser are specially coated with up to 90 natural minerals and 24 beneficial microbes and fungi. The microbes break down the natural minerals, providing plant available food for many months. You can find out more about the full range of these fertilisers on their website. When it comes to other specialist plants, two stand out. Vegetables are short term crops and need a fertiliser that will keep pace with their quick growth while roses, camellias and azaleas need that extra bit of potassium to improve their flower quality and quantity. Even the slightest variation in formulation can make one fertiliser more suited to a particular plant group than another. Now the difference might be small to us, but not the plant. So next time you're going to buy a fertiliser, think about the plants you're going to buy for. It'll pay dividends.